Okay. All right. We are live. Hello, Boyan Mirich. Hello, my friend. Hello, Master Bro. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello, and uh, uh, thanks for being here uh, with me. Uh, today we're Thank going to be so we're going to be talking yeah. about the European Massage Championship, which you, my friend, are the triple gold medal winner in uh, 2019. Uh, you yes. were in Spilamberto uh, with us uh, in Italy for uh, for the first edition of the European Massage Championship, and you raffled. Not everything, but almost everything. Uh, wow. remind, remind me the medals that you got over there. Of course, you got the overall uh, medal uh, winner, yes, uh, but you I, had two others. In the category freestyler and in category wellness. And on the end, I, I take medal for overall. Okay. Um, listen, man, before we get started and, and, and start to talk a little bit, I, I love to, to talk to you. I, I love you, especially as a massage therapist. You, you're absolutely mind blowing. But there are these events that are going on right now uh, in uh, Ukraine. And I thought maybe the, you are uh, from Serbia and uh, I would like to just get your thoughts about them, your very natural thoughts, your your uh, Uh, from well, from Eastern Europe, and I know you went through similar things. So, can you give us your your thoughts about what's going on currently? So, I can say that I'm really sad, but no sad like I said something. I don't sleep few days, and I feel so bad because I remember 1999 when NATO bombed my country, when uh, many people from Serbia was dying, and. Uh, I'm so sorry, but in this moment, nobody can stay on, on, on our side. I remember also war in, uh, I was yeah, so young, uh, war in uh, old Yugoslavia, war in Bosnia, when brother and sister kill each other. The husbands between, they kill each other. For what? Brother and sisters, for what? I'm so sorry for people who spread uh, cat red and stay on one side because in one world uh, where on the end everybody lose everybody lose people don't know what is this i was so young i remember really and uh, it's not that i speak something it's really like this i won't only send one thing i pray in my heart deep for all people in ukraine and in russia also because i'm no neutral like i'm neutral Because I said in one word, on at the end, everybody lose. Everybody lose, my friends. And uh, um, what we can do, like like therapists, one thing we can do. If I like said one hour intelligent calling. If everybody think clean with heart, like massage therapist, we will not have word. Never, never, we will not have word. So in this moment, we can only share one love. And and that that's all. Uh, a world like war will pass, but both sides will, will lose. So we can only share love, and, and 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 that's all. I agree. I agree, man. And you know, I think of the massage therapists who should come to the uh, championship. Of course, there are m much more important things, but you know how it will affect their lives, both for those who are from uh, Ukraine and who are from Russia. And our thoughts are with them uh, for the people who are in Russia who are not responsible for, for this aggression, who have not decided to do this. And of course, for our, our uh, colleagues, our friends, and uh, for all the people we know in, in, uh, in Ukraine, of course. Um, so listen, man, thanks for your thoughts on this. And I know how, how close it is uh, to you. And, and, and so thank you again. Uh, listen, I want to uh, get into the uh, topics and, and start talking about your experience as uh, a massage therapist who uh, participated in the uh, uh, 2019 European Massage Championship. Um, the first thing I want to know, very simple, is how did you learn about the uh, uh, championship uh, back in 2018 when we were preparing? 
how did you hear about the the championship? No, it was a so difficult situation. Um, in ah, we lost, we lost Bojan. We lost Bojan. His connection cut off. So, as a reminder for those who are here, we're uh, with uh, Bojan Miric as soon as as his connection is uh, is restored. Um, he uh, he's the triple gold medal uh, winner in uh, in 2019 at the European Massage Championship, and we're I want to get his thoughts about uh, how um, his experience was as a as a therapist. Don't forget, before coming, he wasn't a winner. He was say just a massage therapist, and he uh, he he very nicely came uh, to the championship, and <clears throat> here we are back with. Bojan in a second. So I come back. Okay, guys. you're back. I'm sorry. So, so you were telling us, how did you hear about then the championship? I need, I need two minutes to assist in my telephone. I have some problem. Two minutes, guys. Okay. Oh, okay. Two minutes. Two All right. Minutes, I come back. Go ahead. So Bojan has a, a tech issue with his uh, telephone, and here. Um, for those who are interested, who know uh, uh, Bojan, who are interested in. Uh, participating in the championship um, you can go to get all the information on newmassageassociation.com you see the logo here uh, at the bottom new massage association this is where you will get all the information uh, regarding the championship which will be 27 28 29 of may in nice uh, which is in the south of france and it will be in a beautiful castle and while we are here let me show you uh, some a picture of the castle. I will pull it up right here. And here we go. I think you see here the castle. This is where the championship will take place uh, during uh, the, the for the for the event in end of May. Uh, we have very gracefully had access to this uh, castle. Um, uh, thanks to Alexis Bruyre, our friend in the south of France. And uh, so we should be about uh, 120 people uh, in the castle. And um, and uh, here on the side, you see Bojan, who is massaging, by the way. This was in a uh, in a during an event which was in Italy with Anna Baroni. And Bojan uh, very kindly let us uh, film a live with him on the following day and you can see some of his uh, techniques let me see if we can get some sound on this video Pamela says it looks deep that she'd be screaming Salut à nos amis en Guyane c'est sympa ça d'avoir des gens de la Guyane nous on a lower back a bit of lower back work Pasita, yes, it's a very good type of massage here. Um, maybe put the towel just slightly up, if you can. Yeah, thank you. Santo Domingo, hola, Tenerife, Canary Islands, hola, Belgium. I'm here, man. All right, Bojan is so back. Wonderful. So, you were telling us, how did you discover the European Massage Championship back in 2019? So I, if I remember, this was Facebook or, or something like this, social media. But of course, in this moment, uh, people didn't know like now about championship, about massage in the world. And by the way, you know, 10 years, for example, before was so difficult for was so difficult to find teacher to share with somebody your knowledge, to learn something. Now it is you come on championship alive. You meet people, you need new, see new stuff. You see where is your position, but it's not like competition, guys. You see uh, in which direction you can go. What is this new stuff, what you need and want to work? Because if we speak about our work, this is cosmos. We have a million stuff to learn, and all life we need to learn. 
So that's why for me, one uh, life championship, it's really important. So, so you, you, you heard about it on Facebook and um, before you came, now remember that time, exactly what you were just talking about, which is you, you didn't know anything about championships at this time. And what were your expectations before you came? Did you have any kind of like uh, pre preconceived idea what it would be or what did you think? No, no. Um, I really didn't expect. To be honest, I will say honestly, I was so sad in this moment. I was in some kind of maybe to say depression because I changed country. Typical when you change country with 35. I think that I was 35 when I changed country. And I didn't have... After many friends in Serbia, I didn't have no one friend in Italy. Crazy, I didn't have enough work. I start from zero. And then when I saw that uh, championship is in Italy, I said, oh my God, I go there, you know. And I didn't expect really nothing. I only expect to meet new people and uh, really to see uh, what is this new in the world, uh, where, uh, where I'm like, like therapist which direction I can educate. And, and I see million new stuff. This this brings me oh. to my next question, which is, uh, you said you weren't expecting anything. And um, did you yeah. did you have any expectations, say, um, about your performance? Did you, before you came, did you say, okay, I'm going to win? Or did you say, I just go, I want to discover what it's like? Or uh, what was your mindset? <laughs> You know, uh, one of my teacher many years ago, he said to me, Boyan, in every moment when you have feeling that you don't know nothing or when you don't know enough, you will go up. If you can't, if you know everything and you don't have what to learn, you will go down. And it's like this, really, I really didn't... I... Uh, was thinking about about my work like I think now that uh, I really enough things that I really need to study and study and uh, much I uh, meet new stuff new techniques the more I know that uh, I need to study <laughs> something like this I hope that you understand because it's like this really our job absolutely and and um uh now i want to know a little bit more about uh, uh this was before the championship and the question is when you got there um did you uh, uh, uh what how did you feel over there did you feel that it was a friendly environment or did you feel that it was like uh kind of like uh everybody against everybody environment like how how did you experience the when you, once you were there in speed first of all yes first of most important for me really this medal to be honest it's at home my children choke with them stay at home but it's no medal in this game hard in this moment i had feeling uh and it's like this that i have new family that i have uh, a lot of new friends uh, i find myself personally no only like massage therapist so so you did I receive the medal on, on championship really. And of course I saw many new stuff and uh, after this I know in which way I need to how I need to educate, how I need to create my job in future because on one championship you can learn many many stuff. Only if you uh, experience with people in, in every case. And um so you you went through the championship you did beautiful massages and by the way i want to say that at the time i was filming the the championship of course and i saw you and this happens oh we we lost bojan again i hope he can come back in <clears throat> so what i was what i was going to explain is how when I was filming uh, the championship, and I film a lot of, uh, I'm lucky to film a lot of massage therapists throughout the world, I saw Bojan and immediately I saw that he was very talented, that he very much um, uh, mastered the, the techniques of what he was doing, but also that he was able to stay very focused on his 
um, on his uh, client because it's not always an easy environment when you're in the in the championship to be able to um, you know forget about the cameras, forget about the judges, forget about the other participants and all this and really focus on your client, which is a very important trait. And Bojan was one of those who was able to, to do that very well. Um, we're still looking at a, a video by Bojan while we wait for him to jump back in. And if anybody has questions, please don't hesitate to ask them. I will uh, try to check the chat now and see if anybody has some questions. And please do put in your questions both for me uh, about the championship, for Bojan, about his experience in the championship. Uh, and you can put them in, in the following languages. You can put them in, in French, in English, in um, Serbian. You can put them in, in Romanian. You can put them in, in Italian. Okay, so any questions which you have, don't hesitate uh, to uh, put them in the uh, the chat. I actually am trying to load them up. I don't know if I'll be able to see them. Okay, here we go. Yes, questions in here. I see now all of the comments. Hello, everybody. Hello, Kitty. Hello, Daliana. Hello, Islam. Hello, Sain. Hello, Coral. Hello, Susana from Argentina. Hola. Vero Torres. Hola. Hello, everybody. And Bojan is back with us. Hello from uh, to Saskatchewan, Canada. I love Canada. I lived there for four years. <clears throat> And we're still looking at a video by Bojan, which was done in Anna Baroni's place uh, in Italy. While we wait for Bojan to come back, he's still having some trouble, clearly. Hello, de la mar, Daniela Lopez. Si alguien tiene preguntas sobre eh, el campeonato europeo de masaje, que sean de eh, Latinoamérica o que sean de España, no duden en preguntar. Eh, estamos aquí haciendo una entrevista de Bojan Miric, que es el, uno de los ganadores de 2019. Eh, y en 2020-2021 no pudimos hacerlo, lamentablemente, por razones obvias. Eh, hello, Utah, Isa. Very nice to have people from, um, from the U.S. It's, uh, it's not always the case in, in my life, so I'm very happy to have you. <clears throat> Buena sera, Lucre Lucrecia. Uh, so, again, we're talking with Bojan about the European Massage Championship. Uh, he is one of the winners of 2019. 2022 will take place in the south of France, Nice, in a beautiful castle. Um, <clears throat> Hola, Argentina. And on the 27, 28, 29 of May, we will have... On day one, we will have workshops. Uh, we have a choice of nine different workshops, which you are, which you can take optionally. You can take them or not take them as you wish. And on day two and day three, 28 and 29 of May, uh, there will be the um, uh, championship per se. And uh, we, everybody will do two massages at least. Uh, and... Um, during those uh, two massages, there will be a jury who will uh, evaluate the quality of the massages, of the table setup, uh, of um, uh, you, the ability to concentrate on your client, of the flow of the technique, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, hello, Islam from Kuwait. Um, and after these two massages, there will be a selection of those who have the best uh, grade, um, the best uh, evaluation. And those will move on to the final on Sunday where uh, there will be a filmed final and uh, they will uh, demonstrate their massage. And after that, there will be a, a overall winner. Now, Bojan, to who we're speaking currently, if he's able to uh, come back, uh, is the overall winner of 2019. 
and um, he's an absolutely outstanding, outstanding massage therapist. That should be said that in 2019, we had a popular vote, meaning we had a jury of specialists who voted for uh, and gave grades, but we also asked the public to vote on the best massage. And we had fil I had filmed the massage so people could see it on, on big screen. And they were able to see all of the movements of the finalists. And, and Bojan came out um, the winner of that uh, exercise. Uh, Daliana, maybe you can give a call to Bojan to see if he'll be able to, to come back. <coughs> and I will show you here a picture of Bojan, uh, who is, uh, let me see if I'm able to pull it up. Here we are. And this is Bojan right after he won. And Bojan is back. All right, I'm man. So sorry. Don't worry. With my phone. I'm so sorry. No worries, my friend. Yeah, everything's okay. We've been watching you massage. I got a video of you running next to right okay. right next to us. So everything uh is is all right. Uh thanks man for, for jumping back in. Really appreciate it. Um so where were we in our chat? Um, uh -huh. So I wanted to know, is there any time during the championship when you expected to become the winner, when you thought, okay, honestly, no. Honestly, no. I was more maybe pessimist and, and I was thinking like, oh my God, I didn't do nothing. I didn't show nothing because I saw by the way, many amazing therapists there and many things which I don't know and that's why I was like, oh my God, I don't know nothing, you know. And because this motivated me that I studied. And I think that I learned much more stuff after competition than I know before. Oh, really? Oh, yes. How, how so? Explain to me this. Because I understand what I need to do, in which case I need it. So you so you're saying so, that you understood where you were lacking, where you were not good enough, say and of course, and in which direction I need to go. Super interesting. If I want better reason, because by the way, we need to study non-stop. Of course. This a bigger bigger problem on one uh, therapist in every world if you stop in one point. If you stop in one point, but very had for example personally uh, many time in my life in my career to say therapist career i have situation when i come on one and i stay there and i want something new and i don't know what is this new and in this case championship it's good stuff and you see many new stuff and you see and you understand what you want mm -hmm. because if you understand and if you want you will go now, I, about what happened after the championship, I'm actually interested in, and this will maybe be a hard question for you. Were you... It's so hard question. And, well, you'll see, and, and this is actually a question we, we had with the team, is do you think you were able to stay humble? Because, of course, you become, say, champion of Europe, or say you give the best massage during a big event like this, so you have a title which is actually quite nice. And the question is, after, maybe does your ego go crazy or were no. you able to stay humble? Tell me how you process this internally. Honestly, no. Uh, my ego don't go, because this is, I think that this depends on person. And again, if you're, it's like Ricky, we need in Ricky, we need to switch, up, uh, switch off our ego. If no, Ricky don't work. So it's first, uh, Ricky Masters, no. First of all, you need to switch uh, ego and say, uh, please, I ask Rick, think in what you believe, uh, to help in this, this, but uh, I switch off my ego. If you work something with ego, mm -hmm. it's personality. So uh, by the way, after after championship, uh, my life changed. Uh, so this was my next question for you is yeah. what what impact did it have yeah. on your life concretely speaking like in so in first of all i really received many many friends and i'm not sad anymore i'm so happy because i have one big family really 
in every moment and every day I speak with my friends, with my friends in Russia, with my friends from Bulgaria, I speak with my friends from Thailand and uh, from all over the world. Every day I speak with, and every day I have uh, about what to speak with, with all of my friends. So my professional career after this, uh, first of all, uh, one month after championship, uh, one colleague from Italy, he invited me for first master class, but uh, we didn't have enough. And a few months after this, everything starts. I start with master classes. Uh, this year, I, I uh, took master classes. I'm full booking, honestly. Uh, for example, from 16 of January this year, I had already 70 students. Now I have master class. I will show. I'm here. So today and tomorrow I have 16 students. I make a um, deal with one cosmetic house. So this is about me. Diego de la I so, did many new projects and 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 so about this uh, cosmetic house, I'm interested. Uh, do you have you become uh, say a representative for uh, this brand? What is interesting for these brands, they find me, mm -hmm. but they saw my video with Muscle World last one. If you remember Julian, when we uh, when we when we do in Italy mm -hmm. in Anna Baroni School, mm -hmm. this they is the video we're seeing. Video. Yes, this is the one and, we're watching right now. Actually, this is the one we're talking about. And they call me, and I come. This is near near Bologna, uh, Castel Guelfo. I go there, but I didn't prepare myself. I didn't know about which cosmetic we are speaking. And I come and ask them, okay, hello. And they was like, uh, you know, we need a uh, new uh, for reshaping body new technique. And I said, okay, can I try now? They give me clients, I try and they see results. And uh, last week was my first seminar. Now I'm working with them uh, mostly every week. And I hope we will also work internationally. But they saw video on us as well. That that is super interesting because I, I I with my colleagues Constantina and Ivan we created the championship and then I created the video. So I'm very happy to be able to help you in your career, my friend. No, honestly, <laughs> this. I asked them how you know about me because uh -huh. in Italy we have amazing therapists, a lot of calling, but they saw us as well. So this is so also important. Well, I'll, I'll make a little parenthesis about this. My my goal on Massage World and with the championship with the new massage association is, is is that people can see uh is that people can see the great massage therapists that are throughout the world you have to understand my my idea is that my idea is that there are some great massage therapists but nobody knows about them and maybe we have maybe we have an amazing massage therapist in the in the close to bologna and nobody knows him and maybe his name is Bojan, for example, or maybe Daliana in Sibiu in Romania, and nobody knows her, right? So my goal with Massage World and with the, the championship is also to create an environment where people, the public, the companies, and all this will discover these great massage therapists, will also learn about great massage therapy. And, and, and this, is my, this is my goal. My friend, you're you're good with your hands, but not with your phone. I can see. <laughs> All right, I'm teasing you, of course. So, um, um, about uh, the, do you think that the fact that you got the medals, because of course you got a lot of contacts during the European Massage Championship, but the medals themselves did they contribute to making you? Uh, a little bit famous or to, to get some recognition the medals themselves or was it just a contact and I won't be vexed if you tell me the medals were not uh, because this is something no, which is honestly, starting honestly uh, definitely promotion for you medal it's promotion for you if I didn't receive a medal uh, maybe people will not uh, will, will so me less serious maybe I don't know uh, but again, again, guys, you need life on, on, on the championship. I like also online, but life is different, you know, uh, because it's difficult when you see when you when you see what your colleague do. 
That's why I prefer live, but also online, it's okay. Right, and uh, actually this is um, uh, one, of, um, one of my questions which I had, which is, um, uh, have you already participated yourself in an online event? And if so, no, I charge online events. I charge uh, through different events, so parties and opinion. And uh, even for charging, it's a difficult. It's a bit difficult because uh, you know to create video, you can do million time and you will create. But it's your life when you work like clients. First of all, second of all. It's difficult uh, also for charging for everything because camera is in camera, but I see what somebody uh, do with a tissue or how somebody mobilize something or never mind what you're doing. It's difficult when you see this life. It's definitely like this. And uh, so you, you, you prefer, let's say you prefer in real life. I events. prefer life. Okay. Um, uh, about uh, the people who will be coming uh, this time in 2022 to the European Massage Championship, uh, the, uh, do you, would you think would you have any advice for both the participants before they go and also for of the course. winner for the winner after? Of course, for every participant to be relaxed, and I know that everybody will, will receive something, and I recommend for all therapists from the world to participate on events, because this is a goal. This give you, uh, many people will give you motivation. Now I can see uh, 100 people in this moment who motivate me. And every time, on every uh, event, I saw people who motivate me, really motivate me, because it's, it's million techniques, guys. Every time you see something with you, and you're happy, we need to be happy. And, um... Uh, I know for that <laughs> for yeah for uh -huh, and for the winner yeah yeah it's better that you don't expect nothing <laughs> it's better that you don't expect nothing and of course for winner uh, only to fight with ego mm -hmm. if you win you need to say uh, stay sane if you stay sane you will grow up and uh, Jadapka I think that she say very intelligent uh, thing one one uh, time. We need to share love and believe in something and love and uh, everything will come back to us. I, I remember that Jess Jodapka said this one time and this is true. Mm. This is like, this is, this is a uh, goal. So uh, among among the uh, and by the way, I I completely agree with with your with your topic about the ego, and I think it's important. Also, I see a lot of people who are winners and then they never participate again, you know. And I always think to myself, it, it, look at people like Nadal or people like uh, uh, Messi, or the great uh, sports people. You know, they they win and then they go back again to win again. So maybe it's a little bit different with massage, but I think the ego of some have maybe pushed them to say, okay, now I'm done. I got a medal. I don't want to participate anymore. Personally, I don't think it's a good thing. Uh, personally, I think people should, you know, keep on, on challenging themselves. Uh, the challenge of massage is between you and you, between you and the client. Of course, right. it's true. Number right. one is this, but also this approach where you say, okay, am I doing well? Am I concentrating on my client? Well, is, are all my techniques really complete, etc. This, the, 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 these, these events help people, uh, advance in their ways of approaching their, their trade as massage therapists, you know? Yes. So, <clears throat> and so among all of the things which you've done after you, there are all these courses, uh, you are in, uh, we lost, we lost Boyan again. Um, hopefully he'll come back soon. In the meantime, I will shoot on his video that we're working on. It, you can see his technique there in, in the hands, which is very, um, <coughs> uh, very uh, precise. Um, my next question for Boyan will be about his current projects. And, and he, he has... Uh, a, an event of his own which he's putting together and so we can discuss this as soon as he jumps back in and in the meantime we can enjoy a video by Boyan
as the as the master in Israel, you're absolutely right, and for good reason. Moshe is amazing. From little Ole, NH is what New Hampshire. Oops, sorry, there goes my can. The gimbal is very tired, people today. Sorry about this. In the meantime, maybe also, Daliana, you can tell me, do we have any questions that are going on? Hello to everyone. I'm catching up on the, on the chat. Salut, Kinga. Salut, Edina. I love seeing the people from everywhere in the world. Hello. Oh my gosh, Chaz Armstrong. Hello, Chaz. You know you're everybody's hero, man. For those of you who are who are here who hear me, Chaz Armstrong, who's here in the in the chat. Um free entry, uh Chaz. Yeah. Listen, man, you have a free entry, you have an open open door here at my own home too. Um for people who are here, uh, check out Chaz Armstrong, check out his social media, and also check out the video that we have on uh, Massage World with Chaz Armstrong uh, doing a chair massage. Um, it's one of the most uh, seen videos uh, uh, on YouTube, which is of a normal massage, you would say. Important to say because a lot of others are... Are, have millions of views, but not necessarily for the right reasons. Um, in this, uh, hello, Moshe. Um, and Chaz has an absolutely outstanding chair massage, which he did for Nico, and which is on our YouTube channel, so don't miss it if you can. And uh, and Chaz, actually, that's a good idea, what you, what you just mentioned. I'm all for it. Moshe, how are you, my friend? Well, hopefully Bojan will be able to come back so we can continue. Karem, hola, y sí, nos vemos pronto. Y ahora Bojan volviendo. Ok. Regresando. Hello, Juliet. Hello again, my friend. All right. Uh, my phone is, uh, guys, so you need to buy iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> That's also uh, Bo Bojan's <laughs> advice. His, his official advice is to buy an iPhone. <laughs> All right. Um, listen, uh, last last question, which which I had is among all of the all of the different um, uh, projects which you have uh, lately, one of them is um, uh, a, an event of your own, which is a massage camp, and maybe you can tell us a little bit about this. Of course. So I have really big pleasure to invite everyone to join the first international massage camp, which happened in the uh, beautiful coast of Ravenna. This is in Italy. The 20th of uh, August this year. So we have two uh, time a day uh, networking after lunch after breakfast in the morning we have a speech of 30 minutes and after people will have two hours to change it so we will make like some kind of challenging like lutri and we will have therapists for example number one and number 60 and they will have two hours to change experience 
uh, in the evening after uh, after uh, lunch after relaxing because we are on beach have a possibility to play any kind of sport we have even free umbrella on beach uh, between five o'clock and eight o'clock uh, different rooms uh, uh, not to say famous, but teacher from all over the world will present new techniques and a new methodology. So, by the way, uh, event will be amazing. And I would like to invite everybody to join. And everybody can uh, see about international camp on our site, uh, international master camp. By the way, Julian will put this on, on uh, master the other information but it will be really nice that you come and enjoy it because also Julian will come and <laughs> to say awesome. us a many many things Thank you for that. And listen, Bojan, um, uh, we have a question from Eden Green, who is asking for Bojan in French, est-ce qu'il a préparé un protocole spécifique pour le championnat? Did you, mm -hmm. for the championship in, in 2019, did you prepare a specific protocol before coming or did you just do your regular protocol? No, of course that you had my protocol, but by the way, I did what, uh, what my clients need in, in this uh, moment. I mean, never can work left and right side same. So, uh, uh, of course, that life work with clients is a bit difficult also to be some kind of performance. But by the way, we need to do some kind of diagnostic or trot our experience to our body. We can't work same left and right side because in, in this case, we will come maybe on same point, maybe. So that, that's why you, by the way, you need to have something prepared. You you need to know what you will show and depends from category. We have different category. You can't come and play this. You can, but it's better that you have some your program. So in other words, you had a protocol, but of course you adapted to your client, which is of course, of course. what you must do. Um, donc Eden Green, une traduction française. Euh, il avait un protocole qui était préparé, mais évidemment, il était aussi préparé à s'adapter à son client et c'est ce qu'il a fait. Donc, euh, euh, il, a, il, a, il s'était préparé en amont, mais sans pour autant être figé sur euh, son protocole euh, de manière ultra euh, rigide, disons. Donc, il s'est adapté à son client euh, euh, en, en fonction des besoins de la personne, ce qui est évidemment ce que doit faire n'importe quel euh, massage thérapeute. Um... <coughs> Okay. Uh, while we are here, while we have so questions, for example, for example, if my client doses, uh, I must take care to not make put him more in extension because this is like contraindicate and uh, opposite. So, by the way, we need to more or less understand what we will do, but we need to have our protocol. Right. Absolutely. Uh, okay, if there are no other questions, are there any other questions? Hay cuestiones para Bojan sobre su participación en el Campeonato Europeo de, de Masaje. Um, uh, si hay, que me lo dan ahora. Si vous avez des questions, dámelos, uh, de, donnez-les moi maintenant. Uh, Bojan, a last few words for those who will be coming in, uh, in May to the championship. What, what do you have to tell them? I need to say everybody that they need to be relaxed and they can need to every to use every movement to enjoy because every event coming what well, yes we will have a European Championship again next year but this year will be only one time so you need to enjoy in every second with all your colleagues like you eat some dessert good you know you start from up from this maybe the most beautiful stuff but. You need to enjoy in everything. So, in, in, other, enjoy in, everything. in other words, you're saying carpe diem. <laughs> Absolutely. So, so listen, man, thank you so much for uh, coming in, for doing this. Uh, people, don't forget, uh, Bojan also has his uh, international massage camp, which will be in August in Italy. Uh, we will post uh, something about this on Massage World for sure. Uh, so. And... Um, And, uh, of course, uh, this was uh, Bojan about the European Massage Championship. We invite you to check out newmassageassociation.com where you will have all of the information regarding 
May 27, 28, 29, in Nice, south of France, in a beautiful castle, the European Massage Championship 2022, uh, to have a wonderful career like uh, Bojan, uh, uh, which, uh, which starts. And by the way, you don't necessarily have to win all the medals like Bojan to have a boost in your career. A lot of people had interesting things happen even without winning three medals. So, uh, you know, there's, there's, of course, a lot for everybody to, to get there. Uh, Bojan. Yeah, this is important. I, I, I know many, we have many colleagues who didn't win never medal, but they work amazing. They make amazing contact, uh, do amazing job. They teach many people, uh, but one championship can only help you, that you grow up first and in the professional way. Yeah. Again, man, thank you so much. Congratulations on, on everything so you're, you're doing. Best regards for everybody. Yeah. Let's pray for our friends from Russia and Ukraine. And what to say? Yes. Hope to, to see Absolutely. everybody again. Absolutely. A thought for, for all our friends in, 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 uh, in this uh, conflict. And, uh, and uh, of course, we, we, we look forward to, to seeing the next events. Hopefully, things will get better. So thank you so much, uh, Bojan, and, and uh, we'll talk thank to you, you soon. Take care, man. Ciao, man. Nice talking. Ciao, everybody. Ciao, ciao. ciao. Bye-bye, everybody. Gracias a todos. Bye. Merci a tous. Obrigado. Grazie for watching. And we will see you soon at the European Massage Championship 2022. Love you. Take care. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Ciao.